This is Bill Smith, and uh, I've been working on a magnolia breeding program now for, I don't know, six, eight, maybe even nine years. And we're now standing in the test bed with a whole bunch of the babies <laughs> that I have created over the last four or five years. I've been volunteering here at Lewis Gander Botanical Gardens now for about eight or ten years. These are seedlings from the crosses that I made this past summer, and they're now sprouting and growing beautifully. This one and this one and this one and this one and this one are particularly exceptional crosses and I think have great potential. So does this and so does this. I think these are going to be some excellent plants uh, if they develop the traits that I want from each parent that I uh, crossed. This one and this one as well. So there's a lot of excellent potential for an exceptional Zone 7 shrub with prolific bloom all over the plant. What did you use to cross these two? This was a cross of uh, uh, Figo Skinneriana, and we have one here in the greenhouse that shows the bloom pattern, and uh, uh, Michelia levifolia. We also have one of those here in the greenhouse to show the bloom pattern. Well, here we are in the propagation room with uh, some potted magnolias that are now uh, uh, a little over one year old. They're entering their second year. They were hybridized uh, about 18 to 20 months ago and they germinated last spring. There are always certain traits in a parent plant that I am trying to enhance or increase in the offspring. For instance, this is Figo, which has blooms all up and down the stem and a bright, dark, glossy green foliage. And I have crossed it with uh, Levifolia, which also has blooms up and down the stem. But this is a hardier plant than Figo. So hopefully between the two of them, I will get a hardy shrub that would be a good foundation plant. This is one of my more successful hybrids. It's a, a hybrid of two different magnolia trees. Uh, and it has bloomed now, it bloomed about three years ago and I have named it Ginter Spicy White. Uh, it's got some nice size. This will be a flower bud that will open up probably in May of this year. And it has a very large white bloom with incredibly uh, wonderful fragrance, very delicious fragrance. And pink stamen. 